Hi everybody, today I've got the C2 4000 Intelligent Charger. Uh, it's a smart charger by my boxer, the most powerful two slot charger. It comes in a small box. We can see here uh, the list of brief specifications on the box. Uh, it supports all types of lithium and nickel batteries. Uh, and uh, in terms of size it supports uh, from the very tiny batteries to the huge 26, 650 and this size batteries. Let's open the box and look inside. There we go. This is the charger. The user's manual. It's in English. And the power adapter. It can give 2 amps at 12 volts. It's very small, in fact, you can compare with the charger. And I will compare it with a lithium battery 18650. So here we have the DC port, the fan, which works in discharge mode, and two slots uh, which move very smoothly. They are spring loaded. Let's plug in the power and look at it. It shows the model number. C2 4000. Let's put some batteries. Let's start with an equal battery. I have one uh, 3A size. If I put it in the wrong position like this, it will show error because it has a protection against reverse battery and short circuit. But if I put it in the right position, there we go, uh, it detects that it's a nickel battery, it shows the time passed, the capacity loaded, the voltage, the internal resistance of the battery and the current. It also shows uh, the percentage and the slot number. We can put in the second battery of another type, lithium type, because the two slots are completely independent. There we go. It's a lithium ion type 4.20 volt. Uh, if you want to charge a lithium ferrophosphate or lithium ion 4.45 volt batteries, you must choose the voltage manually by pressing long pressing the slot button and once again and then short pressing the mode button if i choose lithium ion 4.35 volts it will overcharge my 4.20 volt battery so it's dangerous you must choose the right type of the battery and if you put in the uh, lithium ferrophosphate battery, which has the charging current of uh, 3.6 volts, it will detect it uh, as a lithium ion 4.20 volt battery and overcharge it. It's also dangerous. So uh, the user must uh, correctly choose the type of lithium battery. In case of nickel batteries, there is no problem. So I will change it back.
paste the right type. Flashing MAH above the capacity shows that it's not the total capacity of the battery, it's just the loaded amount. And one flashing arrow here shows that it's in charging mode. When the battery is full, as in the first slot, I've got a full battery, it tries full, and it shows uh, the amount loaded in, time passed, and the current is indicated as zero. Here we go. To change the uh, mode from charging to charge, discharge, and charge, we need to long press the slot button, and after that, short press the mode button. Uh, here it appears three arrows which means that it's in charge discharge charge mode and uh, the second arrow is flickering that means it's in discharge mode in discharge mode uh, we've got the fan always working it doesn't depend on the temperature it doesn't depend on anything it always blows uh, in discharging mode I don't know why it's so but it's annoying it's really annoying Anyway, it keeps uh, the charger and the battery is cool. So, and we can see the temperature here in discharging mode. How we got 41 degree, 42. As we've got two independent slots, we can be in discharging mode on the first load and in charging mode on the second slot that's great we can change the current by selecting the slot I select the first slot and by pressing the mode button it supports uh, from 0 0.2 to 1.5 amps for lithium type batteries there we go and from 0 0.1 to 1 amp for nickel batteries when the A is flickering here it means that uh, this current is uh, the preferable For the 4.20 volt lithium batteries, uh, when the total capacity of the LCD display and the actual capacity of the battery are different, you can discharge the battery and recharge it again. The charger will store the current battery charging curve so that the total capacity of the battery can be accurately measured at the next charge. Uh, this function is only valid for uh, 4.20 volt lithium batteries. If uh, the lithium battery voltage is under 3.4 volts it uh, will automatically store the battery curve if the voltage is above 3.4 volts it uh, will not store the curve for lithium ion 4.2 4.45 volt batteries uh, when the battery voltage is below 3.60 volts the charger will select trickle current maximum of 800 milliamps and start charging if the voltage is higher than 3.60 volts the charger will automatically select the constant current charging for lithium ferro phosphate batteries uh, the charger will select the trickle current if the voltage is below 3.40 volts and it will select constant current if the voltage is higher than 3.40 volts The LCD display of the charger is at maximum brightness during one minute and after one minute it starts to uh, dimming out uh, during 20 seconds.
until it's completely off you can watch it right now it's off now This smart charger has a couple of interesting functions which can be very useful. Uh, it can activate a protected lithium battery which is under voltage uh, by applying standard charging method uh, and if it doesn't work it will show error and stop charging. It can also repair uh, discharge it to zero volt uh, lithium batteries. Uh, by applying uh, trickle current and uh, if the voltage rise uh, to a normal value it will apply a standard uh, charging method if not it will show error and stop charging when the battery is fully charged it will uh, stop the charging and prevent the overcharge The charger has a temperature protection function and uh, when the temperature is more than 90 degrees it stops charging or discharging and uh, shows error and flickering 90 degrees on its display. In the end we have a smart charger uh, which works with any type of single cell battery uh, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium, uh, lithium ion 4.45 volts, or lithium ion 4.20 volts, lithium ferrophosphate batteries. Uh, it has two independent slots, uh, which are really independent. Uh, it has uh, protection against reverse battery, short circuit, temperature protection, um, but it has. Uh, two great disadvantages. Uh, the first one, it doesn't have uh, a dedicated discharge mode. It has a charging mode, a uh, charge discharge charge mode, but it doesn't have a dedicated discharge mode. So uh, you can't just put a battery, say a half charged battery and discharge it. You must first uh, charge it to full uh, capacity and after after that uh, you can discharge it. The second one, the fan is always working in discharging mode. I don't know why it's uh, made like this, why it can't be turned off. If you put a, a small current uh, there is no danger so uh, there will be no overheating but uh, the fan keeps on walking. So these are the two great disadvantages for me. There is also a far disadvantage for me. The length of power cord of the power adapter. It's only one meter long. It's too short for me and for most of the people. It could be a little bit longer I think. Say two meters or one and a half meter at least. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the review. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button next to the name of the channel. Bye bye.